Welcome to Alice Davis Golf. Today I'm here to talk to you about Nick Faldo's golf swing and why he was so successful and maybe a couple of reasons why he might be as not as successful as he was before. So if we look at this Trapman data to start off with, what we'll see is his speed is very good for a 6 iron at 93 mile an hour, above tour average, which would be 92. Uh, angle of attack's a little bit shallower than the tour average. That'll be about four degrees down. His is only three, so that might affect ball contact a little bit. Swing path, 1.9 to the right, which is acceptable as far as I'm concerned, slightly to the right, but the club face is a long way to the left. Given the difference of three degrees, which should produce a shot that would start probably somewhere near target and then finish left at target with right to left curvature. Now his ball flight doesn't have a lot of spin axis on it. It's only minus 0.3. So that's fairly low considering his face to path. So part of the reason for that is his contact, and his contact tends to be a little bit out the heel. And when we play through his video, you'll see that quite obvious. So if we look at the sort of the mechanics of his swing, uh, our setup is a little bit rounded through his back here, a little bit in sort of C shape as we'd call it, rather than the traditional sort of straighter back. So that will affect a little bit of how he can move in rotation. Let's just have a look at his swing as he goes through it now. So as he starts his back swing, the right hand stays on top a little bit and the club face closes a little bit, a little bit uh, like Leber I used to teach, I believe. So the club face mirroring the spine, so probably still sticking to that kind of model. Then from there, his plane goes up quite steeply. And if we look at it here, the shaft will be pointing down inside the ball's target line. So that'll be a little bit steeper than I would like to see. Into the top, into quite a nice position, albeit a little bit more upright than I would want. Then the downswing, you'll see these arms shallow, legs start to move and the hips start to open. And we'll just see here through contact, quite clearly that ball struck out the heel, creating that spin axis. So neutralizing the club face, closing if you like. And then from a fall through point of view, moving quite nicely through the golf ball, albeit his arms a little bit high. Again, for me, when I tend to see that with a lot of players with a closed club face, that is a little bit of a counteraction to stop the ball going as far left as it would do, the sort of holding you off a little bit and getting the arms going up. So lots of really, really good things in his golf swing, as you'd expect. Um, a little bit typical of what he was uh, claimed to have worked on years ago with the plane sort of going up in the backswing and then shallowing in the downswing. Um, creating a slightly too much close club face for me would be the key. The rest of his data pretty good. His spin rate's a little bit down, but the rest of his data is pretty good, um, as you can see. And uh, so for me, the main thing to look at there would be more his contact and possibly trying to make sure his plane doesn't change quite as much would be the things I'd look at long term. Thank you.